Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go this way. Yep. Yep. I don't have anything for her, do I? She wants a head, right? Yeah, bye. <laughs> I don't have a head for you, I'm sorry. But I know where there is a head by the pole, but it's a male head. Is a male head okay? Because it should work. A male head should be fine. Um, yeah, no. No, male head not good for you. Or I hate this part when it just blacks out and you just think, oh, cutscene, and it's not a cutscene. There is eh, no. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Oh. The music is very... Like, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff happening, when in reality, nothing is happening. <laughs> are there, don't you want the head by the pole? I could give you the head that's by the pole. It might be a male head, but it's a head. No. Oh, yes. The pool. <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's her. Be careful. That one is Kano Yuki. The girl with the missing eye, right? Kano Yuki. There's a sparkling thing right there. <laughs> I think what I know what's going on now. Really? Do you now? No. What? Did she move the sparkly thing? I'm gonna say before I go get it because it does not seem safe. Oh. Single piece of loose board on the floor. Pick it up. And go. Oh, 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 oh. A bad coat of blood is lying on the floor. Look carefully, the name Tsurutokiko could be seen, but not. Getting this one is easier than the Rios, huh? Just be grateful that we don't have to put up with so much to get that this time. Mm, you're not out of the water yet. <laughs> Okiko-san. But, but, isn't that the one with no head? Isn't it? Because then I wouldn't sell for your tongue. There's an entire head laying over there. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, great. I think I've discovered something important. What is it? The new master of heavenly host is Kanoyuki. The new master? What do you mean? But now, the one controlling this face is her. And we have to put a spirit to rest too, right? That's right. We need to get her to emit remorse and free your spirit. Also, it seems that she has taken once more the tongue of the two other shad spirits. What? Then we just return, we are saying? Not what I meant. You see the other group of students were able to escape. Should have already, already returned the tongues. But then, how do we get we are saying? And that patch is now. She took them again from the two, didn't she? That's exactly what I stated earlier. I'm sorry. It's actually more of a matter that I simply want it clear and nothing more. We should continue moving now then. Yeah. Um. 
I don't like this. <laughs> it seems dangerous. I don't know. So I have to go back and um, to the tongue place. What's it up over here? What's it up there? You can probably get there both ways. Whatever. No. Stop doing that. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's confusing. She's right here. Yeah. 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 Let's hope she doesn't kill us. I care said a minute ago. I don't care. Yes. Get back. Uh, I'll take care of this one. This kid put me through a lot of shit earlier. My ah. Oh, you brat. You put me through a lot of fuckery just earlier, remember? But then, you always had a rough time, right? <sighs> alright, alright. Hey, come here. I too. I don't know what the rest is supposed to be. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I, I never knew that a car could be so. could also be kind. Especially towards a child. Okay, right, don't try to push your luck, Hazar. <laughs> Stop. I'm pinching my face. <coughs> <coughs> Only one left, right? Yes, kind of you, Yuki. Uh, where should we look? I think we've seen all the rooms. We can see inside the buildings. We still haven't seen what's underneath the school. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You have been there on plenty of occasions. <laughs> Several times. Yes, you have. Go through. Go. Go. Why don't you go? Go. Go. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Let's go underground then. Again, finally. Where was that though? Was it um, up here? Maybe. Might be. Or was it on the in the beginning? Or was it these doors? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. You have nothing to say now. You wanted to go here. Why aren't you saying anything? Anything new? No. Why are you not talking, guys? I expected a cutscene when we got here. But no, fine. Wanna go to the murder room? Let's go to the murder room. No? Okay, fine. What is it, Hasaro? You feeling something? It's not that I'm complaining, but it's too quiet in here. Are you saying there's something really dangerous in this place? Even more than what we've seen so far? I, I don't really know. Danger or no danger though. Let's be careful. Yeah. Let's go to the murder room. You have nothing to say about this? You guys have nothing to say about the murder room? Really? You have nothing to say about 
the room of murder and death. Fine. Fine. Whatever. I'm gonna take it into the bathroom again to see if there's anything new happening. I'm gonna check the doors. Oh, that's a door. <laughs> oh god. Okay, nope. Nothing in there. The other one. Come on, let that see ya. 17. Blah, blah, some multiple style bones. Nope. Can we go where we haven't been able to go now? Do you know, follow the blood? I'm gonna try. <sighs> really? Then what? Do we just go over here? Okay, thank you. Thank you. What's wrong, Yusuke? What are you doing staring there? How would you talk? I've been trying my best to keep the fear in check, but I... Every time I try to look at Yusuke, what happened inside the infirmary always flashes in my head. I'm scared. I'm scared of what Yusuke did. The way he grabbed me. The way he pinned me down in the bed. The way his hand snaked the weight on my throat. I can't stand it. Yusuke had a blank expression on his face, like the one he wore during that time. I saw his mouth slowly opening, no doubt that he's finally about to respond to what I said. I'm gonna check what's on that side. You and the others should continue where you're going. Hey, didn't you just say that we shouldn't split up? What the fuck are you saying now, huh? Wait, maybe we should let him take a look around. What? Are you listening to yourself, Azera? You know that's not safe here. Of course I know. I've seen them. I've experienced how, just how dangerous this place is. What am I saying? This will... This will die Yusuke away. Stop it, stop it. I kept screaming in my head to stop speaking and tell Yusuke to come with us, but somehow... I can't stop. God damn it, Naho. Help me reason out to these two fucking idiots. I can't force him to continue with this. I can try, but by the looks of it, his, already, his mind is already made up. I'll be back. I'll just check the path there, and you can just meet me back there, here. Someone's going to die. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, telling to go like that? That wasn't what I meant to say. I was just thinking that I that that it, it was a. I'm not angry at you, Hazar, but I don't think that having a different meaning to what you said will make things right. Let's just get going so we can meet up with Suki faster. Yeah, let's get going then. And so, despite the guilt of what I did to Yusuke, we continued down the path we are going to. So I could hear Yusuke's footsteps become quieter and quieter, but I didn't dare look back to see him go. We we'll up there, right? I'll we'll be fine. I tried, tried telling myself. I wanted to convince myself. My fear is an irrational fear that came from an, an accident Yusuke did not mean to happen. It would be a while before I realized that the consequence on my actions were far more dire than I could have imagined. Why am I so hungry? I don't understand. Can we go in here again? <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we have here? This must be the original master 
And the Saki, the Shiko's grave. And this is where the murder of the children happened? The spirit shout spirits? Yes. This place is where they were killed. They found dead by the authorities. That was horrible. What did you say in there? There's probably nothing in here. Even if we decide to search a place. Yeah, it seems that way. It's already a bear. I doubt anything could be hidden here. Let's meet up with Yusuke now. Is this everything guilty? I think I went too far with what I said. Okay, dokie. Wait. Okay, now I just want to check that. The darkening spot pool thing. Let's keep going to where we're supposed to go. Where we're supposed to go. We're able to meet up with Suki again faster that way. Really? We have to go in here? Let's go. Yes. <laughs> you already been in here and died, but whatever. We're one less person now. It might have a different outcome, I guess. No, not the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the same thing, isn't it? Same thing is happening. Well, same. Same thing. It's all the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big bro. These elephants are so mean, aren't they? <laughs> That's kind of yucky. Fuck, this is really bad. Hey, Big Bros. You've been helping the Shadspirers get their tongues back, right? And I even hid them so well. <laughs> You're starting to really annoy me. I even helped one of you. Helped? What is she talking about, Ikaru? Oh well. They brought with the glasses. Could you kill them now? I think I heard them say bitch about your friend there. Take this big bro. Stab them real good, alright? Now I took the scissors from Yuki's hands and began to make ominous snipping noises with it. <laughs> I'll be sure to taste them real good. They won't bad you ever again, Sayaka. Damn it, this can't be it, can it? I'm sorry, Hatsuo. I can't, I can't bring you back home. Ikaru. Ikaru has back against me. I said to shield me from our upcoming death. I can feel him shaking from a certain fear of our fate. It may, it may have been mine, but I'm not sure. Uh, I just hope that you can get out of here somehow. Usuki. I still am afraid of what happened. And I haven't even asked for his forgiveness, but... Please calm down now, Ho. What? Who are you? Who are you? How do you know my name? Big bro, rush it off and kill those two. You two get out of here now. But how? The door's locked in- whoa. No, it's not. I see. Are you alright? Hey, grab out. Thanks, the door though. I'm sure that it's locked, but when I tried it. Let's hurry it up. Ah. And look up. Ah, die. Shit, he's coming this way. Ah, God damn it. That fucking hurts now. Now I'll try to attack Ikaru with the scissors. Ended up stabbing his hand. 
Kara gripped the scissors before Nahog pulled it back. Sorry Nahog, but you're really bad with scissors. <laughs> don't, don't make jokes of it. Jeez. Using his free hand, he connected his fists to the stomach of Nahog, knocking him and script off. Hurry up and take him with you. The door will not keep a ghost occupied for long. I, I guess. And Sarah, you start running now. I began running just as the car put the unconscious Naho on his back with his bridge just behind me. Beside, behind me. Beside me. <laughs> it's okay. Thank God, goodness, you're already here. Listen, we have to get out of here. There's a. It's okay. Hey. I know that I did something wrong, but we really have to. Hurry, don't leave me. You're finished on himself. You've got to run away for now. Run away? I can't do that again. Sarah, I told you to keep running, didn't I? Hey, what happened to Yusuke? Huh? His hand has something black. It's a darkening. Your friend is only falling for this curse. What? I have to help him. He can't turn into that black stain we saw. We can still help him, but not now. The child spirit is still following us. Shit, why can't we do anything but run and run? God damn it all. We continue running like the unnamed spirit said, leaving behind Yusuke who was slowly limping towards that direction. The exit, Hazira, hurry up. Ikaru and the spirit helping us. We were already outside when the doors began closing. Be behind me I see Yusuke who is still coming towards us, and Yuki who is only smiling. I'll let you guys go. I'll be playing with this tall big bro right here. Be grateful. <laughs> I made it. But Yusuke is... I looked at Akaru, whom had just put down the unconscious Naho. The spirit is by Naho's side. So, we'll get him back. We'll save him. I may be irritated with him, but I won't let him... It's all my fault ending up here. What happened to you, Suki? All of it. Kinda. Stop this, Hazaru. This isn't your fault. It kinda is. Shut up. We both know that it's the truth. I asked you to do the charm and it brought us here. No matter what you say, it won't change. It is a few hours ago. We were safe back home. Now we're living inside a nightmare. This is all my fault. I should never have done that charm with you two. My intentions may have been good. But that does not change the fact that I said my friends fate to death. Bringing them here, losing Yusuke, giving me car with the burden on my words. The guilt is crushing my soul, and my tears just keep on flowing. I felt the car pull me close to him, and I lost all means of control. I gave up on being strong. I just want to fix our friendship, but even so, I... I can't keep going anymore. Someone, anyone, please help us. I kept screaming those words in my head, and I may have spoken them out, but I never noticed. I wanted someone to save us, even though it was far from being a reality. This place is no doubt what you called hell. I scream and scream, but I know. Why do I have to go through this? I've had enough of this school. Someone please save us. This unacceptable hell is our cruel reality. Yeah, that's what I expected. So, um, that's all the time I have. I have recorded stuff for like a week. <laughs> uh, I have stuff for a week. Yeah. That's all than me. I have been recording for like four hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in chapter four tomorrow. Bye.